Joshua meeting me and telling me that I love Pastor Hastings so much. But he's telling, he's telling the wrong guy. I love Pastor Hastings so much. I came now to tell him that Njeke Joshua said, Pastor Hastings is this and that. And they went and told Hastings. Hastings now acted bitterly against him. For totally opposite, not over. There's a difference. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You stole by 1,000, they say you stole 100,000. They say stole. Yes, sir. That's not trial. It's when you did not pass by. And this one now, the Bible says, this is the one that takes people to be angry. The one that they did not do. Of which that is the trial definition. Thank you, my son. <laughs> Glory to God. So now, Pastor, get me. When trial comes, it doesn't come as accusation. It comes as true, true accusation. What you did not do. But now you will hear something like, why, why did it? About me. Can't I just be in the choir and be, and be quiet? Is it my fault that I'm a girl? Is it my fault that I can sing well? It's your fault. Your vo Take Pastor Hastings' voice, you know it's your fault. Then you sing with that voice. We are marching forward. You will know that God has blessed you and you have to take the criticism. You cannot be a big tree and hate birds. Even if they don't want to build their nest, they will perch. And birds don't perch without dropping down. And trees don't bear fruit without experiencing shootings. Because of their fruit. Pap! Develop wounds. Because they carry the fruit of life. Who is getting trial now? You're in a family meeting house. You have not done anything. They are just tempting you. They are tempting you. Then one of your colleagues said, let's go to a native doctor. Or else these people will kill you. You are considering it's true. You carry yourself. Native doctor, I, my hand is clean. Is the native doctor's hand clean? <laughs> Who is getting me here? So let's rush. Let's take the next one. The trial of submission. This one is wonderful. My father and the Lord. The trial of submission. Hebrews eleven seventeen. 17. The trial of submission. God wants to know if Abraham had fully submitted to him. See what happened. Hebrews eleven seventeen. 17. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried. Is it wonderful that God is using the word when? Not if. When he was tried, he offered up Isaac. And he that had received the part of his only begotten son. Hebrews says he offered. Genesis said he wanted to offer. He offered. In the mind of faith, he has done it. We call in the mind of justice, it is done. He offered of Isaac. Then see, when he offered up Isaac, he was tried. God, listen to God. God said, please get me, get me. Glory to God. Don't be angry always. Let some things, prove some things wrong. Hi, you didn't get me. When will God bless you? Now, the man of God has called you out. You have knelt down. He said, this is a son I'm well pleased, a daughter who is going to move the four corners of this world in the preaching, in his talent or her talent, receive double. You fell. Do you know the meaning of fall? Do you know the meaning of somebody fell, fell? Is anybody falls and they clap? 
in boxing, wrestling, running, anything in life, why is it that when the grace comes, you fall? My son, why is it that when the grace comes, you fall? Be ready for it. When they met Jesus, the Bible said they all came backward. Because Jesus is first stumbling block before a stepping stone. I don't know who I'm talking to here. His first what? A, step, a, a stumbling block. <sighs> ah, he fell. Fell. It can happen to business. Fell. It can be as though your business is falling. Because grace is not involved. Transplant a flower, you know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Are you still here? So, submission, the trial of submission. Abraham was tried. Abraham was tried. He offered up Isaac. This is the God himself who told Abraham that, my son, I'm going to make you so rich. You're going to be so rich. In fact, you are barren, yes, but your descendant shall be. We need, I need to make you so multiplied. Thousands, millions. Can you count the seas, shore, sand? No. Look at the stars. Can you count them? No, Lord. That's how your descendants shall be. But let me begin with one. And then it starts with one, one department you are, one job you have gotten. And then just give birth to Isaac while you are dancing. That's your dancing. You are going to, <laughs> you are happy. <laughs> my son, my son. Yes, Lord, I need another child. I'm hearing you speak, Lord. This is Isaac you gave me. Woo, Isaac. Lord, speak, speak, speak. Yes, my son. Thank you, Lord, speak. That Isaac, yes, offer it to me. Lord, You mean Ishmael or you mean who? Isaac. Give me. Give me Isaac. Kill him. Kill. I know if, I know if we continue that church. Do you want to kill me for that church? Move on, brother. Sister, move on. There are some people you allow them to move on. When they have drawn the map, Move on. This is God talking to heaven. The only thing I've given you. I want to fight it now. God himself. This is not a prophet telling Abraham. He said, kill it. The Bible says Abraham took Isaac. The only, the only opportunity. You have been serving God as a young girl. Then God just brought Sorry, a man just came into your life. And God wants to know whether this man in future will make you not to serve me. Will you start worshipping men, especially women? Whew. Let me say this. I was unveiling the truth. I said, I want to tell you the deepest truth why God doesn't use women. From Genesis to when Jesus came. Jesus lived in New Testament, but did not call one woman as, 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 a, test, as a, a disciple. Until when he left, they sneaked in. Do you know why? Because of what was said in Genesis. The curse is still moving on many of them. And they don't know what is the curse. They come with the curse as prayer point. You didn't get that. No, you didn't get me. They come. I, I, when, when I spoke to two of them, they cried yesterday. They cried. As, with that curse as prayer point. God gave a curse. God the Adam, why Adam says, not me. It's the wife you gave me. God said, wife, why did you do it? He says, the serpent. God came and asked nothing. He asked nothing to the serpent. He just, just cursed the serpent. He said, from today, maybe you have been working on food, but you shall crawl with your stomach. Till today, the curse is like that. You don't see a moving, a moving, a walking serpent. It's crawling. The voice of God. They came to the woman. He said... This has not been before, but it shall be a prayer point throughout your life. 
He said, man shall be your desire. Go and read the Bible. He said, throughout your life, you will seek after man. The one of the greatest prophets who came in Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1. I said, and I opened my eyes and I saw, behold, seven were after one man. And they were saying, we will name ourselves after your name. And they will meet Pastor Hester and say, Papa, Pastor Hester, please pray for me. I keep having disappointment. That means the curse is really on me, please. That's why God is not interested. Are you still here? You, if you're a lady, this is your most attentive moment. All you know is my man has said. My man has said. L-O-V-E. It's called love. As the devil plays it. The only time you love is when she's already wife. You don't love a girl to be wife. Let's go to the manual. The Bible says, the Bible says, husband, love your wife, not the girl you want to marry. So the girl you want to marry may not be able to see real love until she becomes wife. But if she doesn't know the formula of a real man, she'll misbehave. And the opposite of life is the boys show you love until you enter home. You didn't get that. The boys show you love. They buy you all the stuff that be when you enter. They never love their wife, they love their girlfriend, but now you're forcing to be wife. Because they know the girlfriend permits them to have other girlfriends. But the wife stop everybody from entering the house. The love dies. Because it was never love anyway. Husband, love wife. Not boy, love girl. Okay, now as we move on, the word love has only one place it resides. It doesn't reside in your body. That's why most girls, the persons you end up marrying, you never loved him at first sight. Because at first sight, is the flesh that meets the flesh. It is when you start talking to each other, there's a transfer. Hmm? There's a metamorphosis. There, there's a transition going on. There, there is a transcendent life that you're sending in with words. And then she start understanding and start feeling, and start feeling, and start feeling. She never felt like that. All of a sudden, if you break her heart, it's trouble. She wants to die. But when she met you, it was a no. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. And all of a sudden, you had to insist and show her that you are. You took her to Lina's. You trek on food and you saved two five. She sucked and ate all the ice cream. You are, you are dead. Swallowing speed. <laughs> we shall see in the house. Honey, I have sore throat. Am I speaking to a son here? And then... She, she knows you love her. That's how, that's how foolish girls are. No matter how you preach, they are still foolish. As I'm like this, I'm talking to someone that's already foolish now. No matter what you say, they don't know the solution is to come out from the curse. Not to pray for the curse. Or against the curse. Oh, pastor, pray that I may have miracle husband. Okay. Miracle husband. I call you miracle husband. Call my break my heart today. Today and today. It's a miracle husband. And I don't know why he is misbehaving. I want to tell you something. I'm, already, I'm just jumping from it. A man was made with a free mind. God made it because he was interested in man. And from man, God took woman. And I'm sure mine was not there, I'm sure. So the devil came with a mind. Hear me. The mind is where LTM operates. Romans 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be metamorphosed, transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that which is good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God. Okay, okay. Where is it? Mind. That's where God works. And the man, the man by nature doesn't know how to keep it in the mind. By nature. There's nothing you don't have extremes. There are some men who are worse than women. But that's few. A man is fighting with his team. I don't like that nonsense. It should end today. He said, what will you do? I said, you push me. 
Maybe this guy now is looking for stone. You push me. You push me. I bet hand me there, Sepas. You push me. Are you wearing the canvas? When you don't want to fight, you're looking for permission. Okay. <laughs> don't ask him for what they will not give you. Stop that nonsense. What happened? He pushed me. I told him that my 100 francs has gotten me, so he says 50. Is that why you are fighting? Blood. Everywhere blood. He moved me blood. He moved me blood. That's my wonderful surpass day. Of course, the surpass always get missing. That's my wonderful surpass. He moved me blood. And then he takes his surpass. He goes home. You go now, the next day, that crown. Anything unites them, eh? anything. <sighs> doctor, remember, say, no, wait, doctor, remember, you want to mean that. So we, come, you want to. I said, no, I didn't do it, I didn't fight yesterday, so. <laughs> ah, you two, you can't, you can't play, see your head. He said, you two, you do it for you. Anyhow, offer. Okay, ude, ude, ude. Ude, we are man, okay. I'm not getting any man. I don't, I don't find. They are already in peace. As they finish on the same table, that's how they are drinking. You know, say, I move me the blood, so. It is worry, it is worry the town. Not try again. Woman! Hey! They don't fight. They think of the fight, they conclude. So if one fight me, wait, if you want really query me, they have no query to, they are suspecting that they will query. You want to query me. January 2013, 11th of January, Monday, 12 o'clock afternoon, she queried me. I told all my kids, don't pass there. Laundry in the house, same compound. People go suffer for the compound, no. People go suffer for the compound, no. Hungry go kiss some people, them, oh. Ooh. Jealousy no go glimpse some people, them, oh. She too is singing this way. <laughs> you don't follow master, so they don't tire, oh. Mare mo siya, no. Mare. Hallelujah. Are you getting me, sir? Then, when you finish disgracing yourself, what will God use? What else will God use? Because this act you are doing can fight you for long. Any day you stand on the altar to say, Praise the Lord! There are people who saw the act. They know your unforgiveness spirit because they truly wronged you. No, they did not truly wrong you. It's your nature as a woman. You cannot forget eh? any problem that happened, you just start writing it all. You recount all on the message. The woman's mind, M-I-N-D, is already occupied. God has no place inside. God hasn't any place. Because God uses the mind. The mind is the intermediate guy who does the, the intercession, the advocation in between the soul and the body. He takes from God and gives it to the flesh and asks the flesh what it needs and take it to God. It's the mind that does it. It's called the soul. That's why it's not the body that sin it. It's the soul that sin it. That dies. Praise God. So you see how the mind is occupied. And when she enters the house, get this. So when they enter the house, that's all. They worship the man. She wake up in the morning. She hasn't prayed. Nothing. Hey, what do my husband eat? Oh, oh, oh. Sugar, no. Oh. Never piece of pepper for make tea. Pepper, no, sugar. Hey, my husband, no. The husband go out, go and misbehave, comes back in the night. Why, my husband? Hmm, do I this smell caste, caste, so? My husband. Strange, yo. Oh. Hey, picking them, go keep me for the house. Oh. Hey, my husband will picking them. And hey, the suspect that they will belay again. No. Hey. Praise God. And she, she's already pregnant even by thought. And then she brings out the 11th. 
She doesn't need to look for disciples again. James has come out. And then, Jesus is, Lord, guide my children. Because the chief, husband, pray. God, can you wait for your husband to drink castor and still pray? God, he may use him in future. I'm telling you, that's how bad it is. He may misbehave and God is waiting. How many females did God confront in person? Throughout the whole Bible. You meet male that God is begging. God says, I have found David. David misbehaved. God says, yes, I still need you. How many females? You talk of Ruth and Esther? Esther, if they did not want to kill the children of God, Esther won't stop enjoying the kingship. So, how do you save yourself? You come out so different and start behaving like a male. And how will you be able to behave like a male? There is no, no, no thought of whether or not you get married or else you fall back into Genesis. And when there's no thought about whether you get married or not, what will be your thought? How to build up your life. Then you'll find it come from everywhere. Somebody's blessed here. I said somebody's blessed here. Malia Gatala Boshilega. Besukiti Braga. Okay. Elia Tatalia Gozi. We're under submission, right? I don't know if you're blessed by this, this small deviation. <laughs> it's not for the men. Do you know there are some men that are like men, right? <laughs> If some women can even take your place, they will be very happy because you are not using it. Who knows Jeremiah? Are you sure you know him? Jeremiah 12 verse 3. Oh, Aliyah Gatatizi. I need to boil now into, into, into a new level now. Take some people into a new level. But you, O oh Lord, I've shown you this scripture time and again. You, O oh Lord, you know me. You have seen me. And you have tried me. God doesn't approve you until you have tried you. He said, therefore, pull my enemies out like sheep for slaughter. Because you know, I cannot fail you. No man can make me get angry out of Christ. That's what Jeremiah is saying. The man is not born. So you have tried me. There are many of you that God is thinking of trying. You are falling. Because you thought that the trial will come with something that is truly wrong. No, it comes with what is right. That's what it's called, trial. It's not a trial of court. Ay, 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 ay. Somebody is blessed here. He said, put them out and prepare them for the day of slaughter. If you go down to verse 12, and God waked up and scattered them out because Jeremiah was tested and confirmed. Tap your neighbor, say, you must be tried. Two persons, tell them, you must be tried. I'm heading somewhere. Your trial of submission. Let's take Isaiah 28 verse 16. <laughs> Isaiah is one of the, one of the top prophets that I love. He did outstanding things. 12. <laughs> Therefore, thus said the Lord God. Did he say thus said Isaiah? Did he say thus said Isaiah? He says thus said who? Behold. I lay, I God, I God, I lay in Zion, I God. No matter the church you run to, I lay in Zion, except the church is not in Zion. I lay in Zion for a foundation stone. That means for foundation to be complete. There must be a trial stone. I lay in Zion for a foundation stone. That means the things that I will use for foundation stone, foundation blocks, the type of blocks. Who does building? So many of you. Do you know foundation blocks? God said, for foundation of your life to be complete, I've laid three kinds of stones. Number first stone, a trial stone. I have laid in Zion for a foundation, a, who understand the English? For a foundation, I've laid a trial stone, I've laid also a precious stone. 
and have also laid a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Time no day. Okay, I draw. Time no day. Hi, I've been here for four years, nothing is moving. He that believeth will not make haste. Oh God, things must have happened by now, but things are not happening. I want to move on. Praise God. Hey, God has stepped a, a stumbling stone, a trial stone. God said, okay, you say you want to grow? He said, yes. Okay, go like this, you will succeed. Before he said go like this, he has gone to the road and put obstacle. If Moses was not strong, he won't come to God the ten times. The things he made, imagine the jets he got when God said, put your hand in your pocket, he put it. God said, remove it, he removed it. Leprosy, say, Jesus, God. But that time Jesus was not. God said, put it back, he put it. Remove it, he removed it, he's healed. What do you have in your hand? Stick. Try it on the ground. Look at Hey! Mboma. God said, take it by the tail. He took it, he turned to a stick. Go and tell Pharaoh to leave my people go. Imagine Moses. <laughs> they will see me. And you just take that confidence. Bam! We are sticking your hand. Pharaoh, this is Limbe Church now. Daddy, these people, eh? He throw the stick. Fuck it up. It turned to serpent. Magician love. <laughs> you know how many pastors don't care, eh? <laughs> Amen. What happened? The magician threw theirs. Moses defeated, but he was not happy. Because the defeat did not move Pharaoh. The Bible says the serpent of Moses had to swallow all the other serpents. I stopped there. If he did swallow as it was said, Pharaoh would spoke. But if I show from the original manuscript, he swallowed some. And Moses picked it back. But God had to show him how to pick it back. 